hi there everyone and welcome to today's video today we will be talking about something called statistical accounts in business central so firstly what are statistical accounts um, well it's just a new uh, functional area that microsoft have introduced um, and they basically um, allow us to track um, other sort of statistics outside of the general ledger, customer ledger, vendor ledger, and so on um, within our business central environment. And uh, just to confirm, they don't post anything to the general ledger, um, so we can use them to track um, other statistics outside of the, uh, the usual types of statistics that you would uh, track in an ERP system. Um, so let me uh, explain further by just jumping into um, the statistical accounts area in my business central environment. So uh, just going to search for here the statistical accounts ledger. Um, and there's a few pages, just wanted to make sure there weren't any others there. So we've got statistical accounts, um, which we can use to set up new uh, or review existing statistical accounts. Um, we've got the statistical accounts journal, which we can use to post transactions within the statistical accounts ledger. Um, and then we've got the statistical accounts ledger entries page, which we can use to review entries that we've posted in the uh, statistical accounts ledger. So what I'll do is just go to my statistical accounts here to begin with. Um, and what you'll notice is I have a few statistical accounts here set up um, already. Um, and if you just wanted to have a play with this, obviously I'd recommend uh, you do this in a demonstration environment to begin with. Um, but what I can do is go to demo data here and I can say set up uh, demonstrational data. Uh, and I've also got the cleanup demonstrational data uh, functions here, which um, we can use to clear and insert demo data for us. So I'm not going to show these uh, in this particular video just because um, I've set up some data for some other videos that I'm going to do. Uh, but you can use these two to add and remove um, your demo data from your BC environment. Obviously do that in a test environment first. Now, what are the statistical accounts? Well, I've got here um, an, a, a statistical account, sorry, for employees. And you can see there the balance is 70, right? So if I go into my account here, um, sort of similar to what we would see on uh, the chart accounts page. So we've just gone from the list view of statistical accounts into the statistical account card. Uh, I can see the number and name of my account and I can see the balance of that, right? So I've got 70 right now. Um, and if I click through into this particular page here, it takes me to the statistical account ledger entries, right? So uh, you can see I've got a few here and some of this was uh, sort of demo data. Some of it may have been myself posting, uh, but you can see we've got things like a uh, posting date, we've got a description, we've got an amount, uh, and then we've also got department code and customer group code here as well, right? So you can use your dimensions in conjunction with um, statistical accounts if you want to. And the idea is, is um, we're just using this particular statistical account to track the number of employees that we have in our business. Um, okay, and uh, as you've seen there, you can add uh, the department code or customer group if it's relevant to these transactions as well. Now, what we will go ahead and do is set up a new statistical account and I'm going to call it mobiles. Okay, so I'll just set up a new one here and I'm calling it mobiles and this is basically just going to be for um, the number of, uh, of mobile phones that we have within the business. Um, and what I should show you here as well is if you go into dimensions, you can set up default dimensions against a statistical account here as well. You know, so if you wanted to say that the department dimension was code mandatory or you wanted to fix the dimension 
um, against that particular statistical account, you can do that using this particular page. Okay, so we've now set up our new statistical account and um, we can see here that the balance is zero right now. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just use uh, the statistical accounts journal, um, which we can use to post uh, transactions against this particular account, okay? So let me go into my statistical accounts journal. So I can set um, a posting date here. I'm gonna go ahead and set a document number and I'm gonna select my statistical account number, uh, which is mobile phones and I'm just going to put in a description of new Samsung devices. Okay. And let's put in 10. And I'm going to say those 10 Samsung devices were for the sales department. Okay. But I can add a customer group there if I want to as well. So what I'm going to do next is hit register on my statistical accounts journal. And why is it register? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we're not actually posting transactions to the general ledger or any other area in BC. We're just registering these lines in the statistical accounts ledger. Okay, so we're not posting to, to the GL or anything like this. That's why it says register, I guess. Um, so let's say yes, uh, we're gonna register the lines. Tells me the journal lines were successfully registered. Let me say okay. And if I jump back to my statistical accounts page now, what we'll see is that the mobile phones here is now uh, with a balance of 10. Okay, so I can drill into that and it takes me to the statistical account ledger entries page here and it shows me my description along with my amount, which was 10 and the department code that I used. Um, so I can also reverse transactions here as well. If I posted something in error, I could very quickly just hit reverse transaction and reverse. Just tells me that the entries were successfully reversed and you can see I've got a minus 10 with the same description in the same statistical account now. So it's basically the same as what you would use for your general ledger reverse transaction, um, but on your stats um, ledger. So that's really everything on the statistical accounts ledger that I wanted to show. Some of the other things that I should mention here is that you can use the statistical accounts in conjunction with the financial reporting module and analysis views as well as allocation accounts. Um, so we do have another video on allocation accounts where we demonstrate how they can be used. Um, but we'll also do uh, a video in the future on analysis views and financial reporting, just so you can see how that is used as well. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.